Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi, Vero. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey, Luis, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Okay, I'm very good, thank you. Uh, uh, still a little cold, but better than yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was really cold, right? But today, yeah. like, you know. Excuse me. Besides, we 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 had the 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 little no earthquake, right? But a little movement, right? A uh, temblor, right? Temble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then I am okay now. Let's begin. Um, I'm going to start with um an exercise related to the use of there is and there are. To make a review. There is and there are, right? Okay. Okay, let me see. Yes. There is a, there is no, there is an a, there are some, there are no, there aren't any, right? Let's go to the example. It says, does your kitchen have a dishwasher? Yes. There is a dishwasher in my kitchen. Oh, no. There is a dishwasher. Oh, no. There is no dishwasher. Look at the, the, the options we have here, right? Many options about the, the kitchen and the dishwasher. You know, lava, plas, lava, lava plato, right? Dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, talking about these possibilities, uh, Veronica, does your kitchen have a clock? A clock? You understand what is a clock? In the microphone, Veronica. Okay, yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. so does your kitchen have a, a clock? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Now, yes, there is a yeah. clock. There isn't a clock. There are some clocks. There are no clocks. Or what? There is a clock. There is, yes, there's a clock, right? Yes. Thank you. Good. Next one. Uh, Luis, do you have a television in your living room? Yes. Yes. There is a television. Yes, there is or there's a television. Television. In my, imagine, imagine your living room, right? Please, in your living room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beatriz, hello. Hi. Hi, welcome. Do you have bookcases? Bookcases are uh, libreras. Libreras, right? Do you have bookcases in your living room? Yes or no? No. No, okay. The option is no. No, there isn't. No, there aren't. No, there are no. Eh, sería, there isn't. Ah, but remember, bookcases is plural, no, right? Pero se un par de días ah, pero they are, they are, are no. There are no, right? Very good. Uh -huh. There yeah, are yeah. no bookcases. Teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Por cierto, disculpe, ayer se me fue la señal del Inter. Ah, sorry. Con tarjeta lo tiene, Beatriz. 
algo así. Ah, bueno, lo siento. Bueno, ahí nos quedamos esperando. ¿Y Beatriz qué se hizo? Sí. Pero sí vi la clase de ayer, la... ahora en la mañana la vi entonces. Ah, ok, very good. Ahí, ahí nos escuchó, va preguntando por usted. Sí, es que pensé que me había dormido. No, no, yo dije, algo le pasó al internet, ¿va? pero se nos desconectó. La perdimos, bueno. tío, la perdimos. Bueno. Ok, thank you, Beatriz. Thank you very much. Bueno. Good. Now, eh, hello, Paola. Listen, does the bathroom have a mirror in your house? Yes or no, Paola? You know what is? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, uh, yes. 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 Yes, there's. There's a mirror in the bottom, right? Okay. There we go. Yes, there is a mirror in the bottom. Nice. And the last one do you have pictures in your bedroom? Uh, this is for William. William, do you have pictures in your bedroom? No, there are no. Okay. No. There are no pictures. No pictures. In my bedroom, right? No, there are no pictures in my bedroom, right? Okay, this is the use of there is, there are, there isn't, there aren't, and the special forms, there are no, there is no, right? There are no, there is no. Okay, so we finished uh, the review of the there is, there are. Now let's go to the presentation of today. The presentation of today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is class number 18, and today is October 18th too, right? So we're going to continue talking about the preposition of place, but not only in, on, and at, but other preposition like next to, uh, besides, in front, etc., 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 right? We have this practice. Good. And then for this, we have an objective. Uh, Veronica, can you read the objective for tonight, unit four? How do you see picture? Sorry? The describe, the describe. describe. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Describe how my and others working pla places. Places. places? And areas look like good. What is the the description, right, of the places um, that you have in your in your work? Okay, give me a second. I need energy for my battery. Sorry, sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, energy is on, I got the power, right? Okay, now let's begin. Good, how to use adjective before now, right? Remember we were learning how to use there is and there are, but this time we're going to add some adjectives, some adjectives, right? Adjectives are words that we use to describe, to make a description, right? They describe places, and they describe people, 
they describe animals, they describe objects, etc., etc. For example, positive adjective. There are comfortable rooms. Comfortable is the adjective. Room is the noun. So in English, it's absolutely necessary you use the adjective in the noun, right? And this is the opposite in, in Spanish, right? Because in Spanish, we say el carro rojo. But in English, we say el rojo carro, the red car, you know? So the same happened here, right? We don't say eh, cuartos com cómodos, but cómodos cuartos, right? In English, it's the, the opposite. So it's a comfortable room. There is a huge parking lot. Huge means big, very big, right? Un parqueo enorme. Like this, right? Good. Then there are nice places to rest. Nice places. Nice. Good places to rest. Para descansar, right? There is an illuminated training room. Illuminated. Illuminated is the adjective. Training room is the, is the noun, right? Good, but also we have negative adjectives. So we don't say only comfortable, huge, nice, illuminated, but we have narrow, estrecho. Narrow, estrecho, right? Small, pequeño. Disgusting, ew, right? For example, reggaeton. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm Veronica saying, ah, I like it. <laughs> okay. Disgusting kitchen. Disgusting kitchen. Smelly. Apestoso, right? Smelly living room. Smelly. Okay. Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. Huge. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. There is an illuminated training room. There is a narrow reception area. Narrow. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. Disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Smelly. There is a smelly living room. Okay, I will take the attendance. Ready to say present? Alejandra? Cindy? Claudia? Present. Okay, thank you. Diana? Present. Grecia? Karen? Present. Thank you. Carla? 
Present, mister. Thank you. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Lucía. Sigue un poquito mal de salud, Lucía. Ok. Luis. Present. Thank you. Verónica. Present. Alejandro. Present. Nuria. Paola. Present, teacher. William. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Wilson. No Wilson again. Okay. Good. Uh, and let me see Cindy, right? Cindy's here. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Very good. Now let me check in the group. Okay, everything is fine. Good. Now, let's go to the next part, right? Adjectives. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe or modify other words. For example, words like small, blue, big, uh, and are descriptive, right? Estas son palabras que describen. Son palabras que describen. For example, the, the adjectives here are usually positioned before the noun. Right? Or pronoun that they modify. Uh, como vimos anteriormente, el adjetivo va antes del nombre. Right? And some sentences multi uh, contain multiple adjectives. Right? Uh, Sometimes it's not only one adjective, but it could be two, three, four, five, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? For example, I can say the nice, beautiful, big, and expensive house. Many adjectives, right? Many adjectives, right? Okay. Good. We're going to learn more about these adjectives. But in general, our words, there are words that describe other words, right? Palabras que describen otras palabras. ¿Ok? Good. Let me see. I have a message. Diana. Ok. Ok. Permítame. Very good. Okay. Good. Now uh, let's continue. So these are types of adjectives. Types of adjective, right? Descriptive, right? Long, red, strong, rainy, big, and salty, right? Long, color red, strong, rainy, uh, big, salty, uh, uh, salado, right? So those are descriptive words, descriptive words. And we have some proper, some proper noun, right? For example, uh, adjective, excuse me, Salvadorian food. Salvadorian in this case is the adjective, right? Mexican people, orale, you know, orale. So Mexican people, 
also uh, okay also we have uh, articles and number right articles is uno el etc so we say ah uh, the and and the numbers all the numbers here for example we have a that all the numbers are adjective, right? Todos los números son adjetivos. Permítame, por aquí tenemos ya Wilson y Diana que tiene un poquito de problemas con el internet. Ok. Ok. Now, we also have demonstrative, right? Demonstratives are these, the, these, those, estos, ese, esto, esa, etc., etc. These, that, these, and those. Also, we have possessive adjective, right? Adjectives that demonstrate possession. My, your, his, her, there are its right my car my class your book his house her pencil their computer our class its house etc etc so here we have uh some type of adjective right some types some type one two three four five type of life, right? Okay, good. Now, here we have the characteristics of the adjectives. Number one, right? Adjectives come before the noun. For example, street is a noun. So before the, 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 the noun long, I mean, before the noun street, sorry, we have the, the adjective long. Tight shoes, zapatos socados, apretados. And also, look, two adjectives are red and black tie, you know? Corbata roja y, y negra, right? Red and black. Okay? So these are the characteristic of the adjective. Another characteristic is that they don't change. For example, I say a clean office, right? Una oficina limpia, right? But you don't say cleans offices. Like in Spanish, right? Oficinas limpias. No, in English is the same, right? No cambia el adjetivo. Sea el nombre singular o plural. Do, do, does not change, right? Okay. Let's continue. Place very before added, right? Eh, si queremos intensificar los adjetivos, podemos agregarle palabras como very, right? Otras palabras como so, quite, etcétera, etcétera. Pero ahorita solo vamos a ver esta. Very long. The window is very long, right? Es bien larga. ¿no? It's a very long shirt. It's a very long shirt, you know? Good. Let's see some example here to see what is correct or incorrect. Cleans offices. Nah, incorrect. The correct is clean offices. Mm -hmm. A window long. No, a long window. Questions, class? Do you have any question? Teacher. Tell me. Eh, ¿Cómo sé que debo cambiar la posición para describir? Por ejemplo, mencionaba el último. A uh, long window. ¿Cómo sé que debo darle, decir, larga ventana y no ventana larga? Okay. Uh, it's easy, right? Number one, something very simple. 
It's another language, right? <laughs> Recuerden que es otro lenguaje. So it's, it's not Spanish, right? It's other language. Es otro lenguaje. Right? So uh, we have to apply the rules. Entonces tenemos que aplicarnos a la regla. A la regla de primero el adjetivo y después el nombre, right? Yes. Entonces siempre um, vamos a ver un nombre. Vamos a ver un nombre. Y antes de ese nombre vamos a ver una palabra. Entonces, esa palabra va a ser siempre adjetivo. ¿Ok? Aunque hay una excepción. Vamos a copiar la excepción. Vamos a copiar la excepción. Yes. La excepción es el verbo to be. Uh, el verbo to be. Vean. Ok. Uh, the car is red. El carro es rojo, right? Yes. But we say the, the red car. Good. La excepción a esta regla de... Bueno, vamos a ponerlo al revés para aquí. Para que me entienda un poquito. Bien el ejemplo aquí, ok. The car is red. Good. So we have to identify the noun, right? Primero debemos identificar el nombre. El nombre es, no sé, un objeto, una persona, un objeto, un, un lugar, eh, un, eh, no sé, un libro, un, um, una idea, right? Ok. Y luego que identificamos ese nombre, le vamos a agregar una palabra, ¿no? Entonces, esa palabra que vamos a agregarle al nombre y que va antes, right Es lo que conocemos como el adjetivo, ¿sí? ¿yes? Ok, y hay diferentes tipos de adjetivos, right Diferentes tipos de adjetivos, ya vimos. Descriptivos, eh, los números, los posesivos, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? Entonces, okay. la respuesta a la pregunta es, es una regla. Ni modo, hay que seguirla. Y lo que nos va a costar es identificar el nombre. Pero una vez ya identificamos el nombre, ya podemos identificar que puede llevar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco adjetivos, todos los adjetivos que nosotros querramos ponerle, ¿sí? Yes. Y okay. por último, repito, la excepción es cuando usamos el verbo to be. Primero ponemos el nombre y después el adjetivo, pero el, el verbo to be va en medio, ¿sí? ¿sí? Luego la mayoría, pues, está como aquí, ¿verdad? Que primero es el adjetivo y luego el nombre. No sé si más o menos le contesto su pregunta ahí. <risa> yes, thank you, teacher. Ok, anytime, anytime. Good. And let's memorize the rule, right? Hay que memorizarse esta regla. Primero el adjetivo y luego el... El nombre, right? Ok. Good. Now we're going to scramble some, some words, right? We're going to scramble. We're going to scramble some words. Some sentences, I mean, right? Ok. Let me see. Uh, we have nine sentences, right? Yes. So we're going to make groups. ¿Te parece? Vamos a hacer grupos, yes. Uh, here we have, for example, four sentences, so I need to make the, the screenshot, right? Hagámosle captura de pantalla a esto, chicos. En lo que hacen la captura de pantalla, aquí está Dudley saludando, ¿verdad? Right? Welcome. Ok, la segunda, captura de pantalla, chicos. Yes, ready? ¿Estamos listos?
Yes. Okay, good. Now let's Teacher. go to the group. Hola. Or, yes, Veronica. Eh, no, vi. Esto me falta, gracias. Ah, okay, good. Okay, ready? Vámonos entonces. Está fácil, siento yo. Yes. Okay, group number one. Karen. Eh, Carla, que está de oyente ahorita. Pero ahí va a estar con ustedes. Paola and William, right? Good. Group number two. Group number two. Eh, Diana, que está de oyente ahorita. Let me see. No, le está fallando el internet, me dice Diana. Ok, espero que ya pueda incorporarse. Acá estoy. Eh, por ah. momentos es que me saca, pero yo vuelvo a ingresar. Ah, vaya. Sigue peleando ahí con el internet, Diana. Sorry. Ok. Eh, Beatriz, Verónica y Alejandro. Estoy yes. En eh, group number three. Cindy, que está ahí solo de oyente, ¿verdad? Eh, Claudia, Luis y Wilson. ¿Ok? Let me see. Group number two. And group number three. Okay, good. Let's go, please, and work. En la Hola. La segunda sería. Eh, dice. The workers need. Y aquí creo que me falta algo que no lo veo. Ah, no. The workers don't need. White shirts. At the company. Así sería. Uh -huh. Sí. The workers don't need what shoes at the company. Necesita shorts. White shirts. Casi no te, casi no te escuché, Alejandro. Solo por curiosidad, a estos no se les agrega el ar o el is. Okay. 
No sé si, no sé si quizás era solo yo, pero casi no les escucho. ¿Ahora? A ah, usted sí le escucho bien. A Alejandro casi no le, no le he entendido. Eh, yo creo que dijo The workers don't need with cheers and the company. Así creo que la dijo él. Eh, me corrige si me equivoco, Marvin. Marvin. Marvin, Marvin Alejandro. Yo creo que no está allá. Yes. Por curiosidad, a eso no se le agrega el ar o el is. Number one and number two, no. Ah, okay. Number number three and number four, yes. Okay, gracias. No, thank you, say. Ay, thank you, verdad. <laughs> <laughs> El number two, the working don't need a shirt in the company shirts. Sí. ¿Están de acuerdo? Sí. The worker don't need a shirt in the company. No, ahí me enredé ya. The worker don't need a shirt in the company. The workers, the workers don't need with share and the company. Escucho. Así, ahora sí, ma. Es que estoy con audífono. Ah, Necesito ya. cambiar a, a auriculares, pero no los agarro. Así como no cae con esto. Bueno, now pero we listen. Hoy se lo oye bien. Un poco sí, suavecito, es... pero se le oye claro, Alejandro. Yes. No, 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 pero eh, con eso está bien, Alejandro, ya es. Súper bien, sí. Hoy sí, Alejandro, nos puedes dar tu opinión. Y la segunda, sí, como usted dijo, está bien. Bueno, así la puse yo. The worker don't need. Okay. Finish. Do you, do you finish, Luis? No. No, no. Solo okay, una me falta. Continue, continue. Okay. Need new shoes. Y la ocho sería, or need employees need shoes. ¿Cómo? El micrófono no tiene. Welcome to the class, Nuria. Hola. Hello, hello, welcome. 
We are working with adjectives. Estamos trabajando con adjetivos. Solo que no sé por dónde van estos chicos. ¿Ya terminaron la, la, la número 8? Yes. 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 Only number 9, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Notice that in some sentences you use the verb to be, right? Is, are, etc., etc. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like I say, first the adjective and then the noun, right? And, and only with the verb to be, there is an exception. Solo con el verbo to be hay una excepción ahí, yes? Estaba muy cansado el día de hoy. Sí, a veces toca pesado, ¿verdad? Ya, ya, teacher. Ok, good, good. That, that, that's all. That's cool. That, Thank that, you. That, that, that's all. That's all. <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> yes. Ok, let me check the group number two and then we, we go to the main uh, classroom, right? Luego nos vamos a la sala principal. Un minuto, yes. ¿Qué significa? Empleados. Oh, yeah, oh new employees need shoes. ¿Cómo, Alejandro? Oh, new employees need shoes. Así. Beatriz eh, va a dar su versión ahí junto con unas canciones rancheras. Ahí. Ay, perdón, te quiero que aquí mucha olla. Ok, eh, Beatriz, ¿es new shoes o new employees? New shoes, porque quería or new, or new employees, new shoes. New shoes. Ok. 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 Número nueve. Y la nueve. This is... Ay, qué... Yes, please. Tight is apretado, socado. Sería the is shield. Creo que sería this shield in a small is very tight. Very tight. Ok, uh, nos vamos a ir ya entonces a la sala principal, chicos. Un minuto para que terminen todos. Corroborando, entonces la nueve sería: This is your very tight in its small. Yo le puse: This sugar is
se lo mató. ¿Cerramos el trato o qué? Oye, George. George. Ay, ¿Qué? Escuché lo que estabas diciendo a los chicos sobre el narcotráfico. Te creí que fueras homicida. Sabía que eras ahí. Estoy cansado, Diego, duérmete. Ay, escucha, en mi país yo soy un músico. Un hombre que no sueña. Un hombre en ascenso. Karen's Group, please, number one. The number one is they like blue shoes. They like blue shoes, right? Okay, they like blue shoes. Shoes is the noun, and blue is the adjective, right? Blue is the adjective. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Group number two, please. Necesito las tarjetas del seguro de los niños y no sé a dónde son. Group number two, please. No, le di las libretas. Group number two. Group number two is uh, Diana's group. Diana's group. <laughs> the worker does uh -huh. need white sheep at the company. The workers need white don't. Ah, don't need, don't need. Excuse me. The workers don't need white shoes at the company. At the company. Okay, thank you, room number two. The workers don't need white shirts at the company. Thank you. Now, group number three, please. Group number three is Luis's group. Luis's group. Are clothes or dirty? Our clothes are dirty, correct. Now, in this context, we introduce the use of the verb to be. So we say, our clothes are dirty. So first we have the, the noun and then, and then uh, we have the adjective, right? Yes? ¿Sí entendemos el concepto? Yes? Okay, let's go to number four. Group number one again, please. They are very nice. They are very nice. Correct. In this context, we introduce the intensifier very, right? Aquí entro, metimos de todo, no? Eh, Metimos el very, el verbo to be are, y primero ponemos el pronombre, they, right? Y nice va al final, ¿sí? Ahí es un poquito más complicado porque intervienen otras palabras ahí, ¿ok? ¿Understand? Now, repeat after me, please, repeat after me. They like blue shoes. The workers don't need white shares at the company. The workers don't need white shares at the company. Or clothes are dirty. They are very nice. 
Good. Claudia, can you read the sentences again, please? One, two, three, and four, please. Repeat. Can you read the four sentences, please? They are very nice. No, they like blue. Mm, las cuatro. Please. Four. Okay. They like blue shoes. The walkers, the walk, the works mm -hmm. don't need gray shirt at the company. Uh -huh. The workers. The workers don't don't need. Así es, ¿verdad? Yes. Gray shirts at the company. Or clothes are this dirty. Dirty or dirty, uh huh. They are very nice. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Number five. Group number two, please. These products are in cheap. Excellent. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Se me fue la luz ahí. <laughs> sorry. Okay, these products, notice that this is the, the, the noun, right? This is the noun, right? These products. And then the verb to be in negative, and then the adjective, right? Aquí ya nos metimos en, en camisa de once bar, va más, <laughs> más complicado. These products. Esto sería el sujeto, ¿no? El, el nombre. El nombre es lo que estamos calificando. Luego el verbo to be en negativo, por supuesto. Y por último, adjetivo. ¿Yes? ¿Understand? Ok, group number three, please. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. Ok. Nice. Group number one again, please. Ah, sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I will introduce another thing, right? Quiero introducir una nueva palabra. La palabra so también es igual a la palabra very. Es un intensifier. Es un intensifier, right? En lugar de decir it's very expensive, podemos decir también it's so expensive, ¿ok? Es otra opción. Y tenemos el verbo to be. ¿Por qué van a decir ustedes? Hey, pero el teacher dijo que primero el adjetivo, después el nombre. Sí, pero aquí estamos usando el verbo to be otra vez. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Good. Now, let's go to uh, group number one again, please. There are clean clothes. There are clean clothes. Close. Very good. Aquí hay un error. Aquí no es there. Es they, right? They are clean. Close. Yes. Very good. Again, otra vez estamos usando el verbo to be. Con un nombre y luego el adjetivo. Yes. Ok. Very good. Group number two, please. Number eight. All employees. Or employees. New, new two. Employees. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. New shoes. Mm -hmm. Need. Need. Ah, okay. okay. Our employees need new need. shoes. Mm -hmm. Our employees need new shoes. Okay. Thank you very much. And last one, right? The last one. Ajá, uh -huh, group number three. Luis's group, right? 
aunque no necesariamente Luis, sino que el grupo ahí, que le eche la mano, yes. Ajá. Share very in small, this is tight. This shirt. Mm -hmm. This shirt. In small. In a small. Is very tight. Is very tight. This shirt in a small is very tight. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yo no, no sé si wait, sería wait. This... this shirt is very tight in a small. Oh, no, sé si no, no sería... that's okay. Yeah, it's, it's okay, Luis. Yes. Okay. I, I think it's okay. Yes. Good. Now repeat after me, please. These products aren't cheap. Cheap in Spanish is barato, right? These products aren't cheap. It's so expensive. They are clean clothes. Aquí, perdón por el error, pero ustedes lo corrigieron, ¿verdad? They. Mm -hmm. Good. Repeat after me. Our employees need new shoes. This shirt in a small is very tight. Okay, Nuria, can you read five, six, seven, eight, and nine, please? Read. These products aren't cheap. It's so expensive. They are clean clothes. Our employers New, new shoes. Mm -hmm. Employees. Employees. New shoes. New, new, new shoes. New shoes. New yeah. shoes. The, the shirt in a smile is very tight. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Right? Any question? Teacher for the, the last. Mm -hmm. You have a sentence. Question. Uh huh, Karen. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, it's valid to say this shirt is very tight in a small. Like this shirt is small in very tight. It's very tight. I guess yes, it's the same idea. Creo que es igual la idea. La idea. La cosa es que en, en talla pequeña, pues es muy apretada, right? Uh -huh. Yes, it's possible. We can say that this share in a small is very tight or this share is very tight in a small. Yes, it's acceptable. Yes. Good. Any other question? No? Okay, so it's time to start with new material, right? We finish the presentation. That's it. Now I will give you more material to work. New material to work. Good. Places, right? Places. Good. Match the words and the definition. Then ask and answer the question with a partner. Good. What's a, and the definition is, it's a place where For example, what's a barber shop? Mm, a barber shop is a place where you, what? Wash and dry clothes, buy food, buy cars and paper, get a haircut, See a movie or play. Make reservations for a trip or borrow books. To begin, we have some places. Look, barber shop, grocery store, laundromat, library, stationery store, theater, and travel agent. Right? 
And look at the picture here, the theater, the library, the travel agency, the laundromat, the grocery store, the barber shop, the barber shop, sorry. And the stationary store, right? La tienda, right? La tienda, yes, stationary store. Uh -huh. And laundromat is uh, lavanderia, right? We have a uh, lavandería in this case when you use coins, machines with coins, right? Cuando tenemos máquinas en la que le echamos moneda y nos lava la ropa, right? Y, for example, uh, aquí en Sacamil tenemos un lugar así, ¿verdad? Va uno y lava su ropa y le echa moneda ahí. That's the laundromat, right? Okay, good. And now, uh, I don't know if you have questions about vocabulary. ¿Tenemos preguntas acerca del vocabulario? I have a question. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. The, mean, the meaning of borrow. Borrow, pedir prestado. Okay, thank you. Good, any other question? Movie or play, right? Película o obra de teatro, play. Okay, let's start, right? I'm going to start with eh, Diana, ¿cómo estamos ahí con el internet? Acá estoy. Okay, good. So, Diana, what's a barber shop? Eh... It's a place where you It's a place where you have, uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia, haircut. 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 Hair. 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 Cut. Cut. Haircut. 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 Yes. Okay. So letter D, right? Okay. So again, what's a barber shop? Is a place where you get a haircut. Mm -hmm. Get a haircut. Get a haircut. Very good. Now, grocery store. Let me see who's next in the list. Grecia. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, no, Grecia no está. Grecia? No, no está Grecia, ¿verdad? Okay, so Karen, please help me. What's a grocery store? A grocery store, a letter, letter B. It's a place where you buy food. Where you buy food, letter B, right? Very good. It's a place where you buy food. Now, number three. Uh, let me see. Beatriz. What's a laundromat, Beatriz? It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. Letter A, correct, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wash and dry clothes. Good. Now, eh, Luis, what's a library? What's a library? It's a place where you borrow books. It's a place where you borrow books. In this case, it's letter G. Letter G, right? Okay. Good. After Luis, I have uh, Veronica. Please, Veronica, what's a stationary store? We start with paper. Sorry? It's a place? C. Sí. Letter C, right? Uh -huh. Say, Letter it's C. a place. It's a place? We start in paper. 
It's a place where you buy cars and paper. Buy car, buy car and paper. Thank you very much. Alejandro, what's a theater, Alejandro? Letter E. It's a place where you see a movie or play. It's a place where you see a movie or play. In this case, it's letter E, right? Cling, correct. And finally, a travel agency, right, Nuria? What's a travel agency, Nuria? It's a place where you make reservations for a trip. Reservation for a trip, right? Okie dokie, thank you. Now, we're going to make question and answer, question and answer, right? Question and answer. Okay, give me a second here. Quiero borrar esto, pero me borro otra cosa. Ah, ahí está. Sorry, perdón que esté jugando aquí, pero... No me hace caso, se porta mal este borrador. Ahí estamos. Quiero hacer una actividad. No, no, no me lo dio. Permita. Bueno, así dejémoslo. Creo que se entiende, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, uh, we're going to do something, right? Question and answer. So, in this case, William. No, Paola. So, Paola is going to make the question. What's a barber shop? And. Uh, <clears throat> so, sorry. Nuria, the question. And Paola, the answer, right? Understand? Okay. Okay, go ahead. The question, Nuria. Nuria? Okay, so Paola, you make the question and William, the answer, right? Okay, uh, what's a barber shop? It's a place where you get a haircut. Wilson, you make the question to, to Claudia. Perdón, solo la, la dos sería, ¿verdad? Number two, yes, please, number okay. two. What's what is a grocery store? It is a place where you buy food. Excellent, very good. Now uh, the question goes to um Diana. You made the question, Diana. And and Karen make the answer, right? Laundromat. Well, What's a laundromat? It's a place where you wash and dry clothes. Excellent also. Now, uh, Beatriz, you make the question, library. And Luis, you make the answer, right? What as library? 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 Library. Library. It's a place where you borrow books. Thank you. The same. La misma le tocó, ¿verdad, Luis? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Veronica, tú, Alejandro. Stationary store. What's that? What's that? Stationary store? It's a place where you buy cars or paper. Good, thank you. Now, Tether, please. In this case, Nuria to Paola again, right? Nuria? Oh, see, ahí la tenemos, Nuria, yes. Uh, what's a theater? Tether? 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 
it's a place where you see a movie or play. A movie or play, correct. And to finish, travel agency, right? Here we have, again, William and, and Wilson again, right? William, you make the question, Wilson, the answer. The number one, teacher. Number seven, travel agency. Seven, okay. What's a travel agency? Make reservation for a trip. It's a place. Ah, perdón. It's a place where you make reservation for a trip. Excellent. Also, very good. Now, here we have some places, right? And, for example, I will make the question and you say it's a place where you, right? Let me see. And I'm going to choose the student. The student is Verónica. Verónica, what's a pupusería? What's a pupusería, Verónica? Do you copy, Vero? Okay, so I will choose another student. Sorry, And, teacher. Ah, Sorry, ah, teacher. Ah, oh, yes. Now, what, what, what's a pupusería, Verónica? In, in the place where you first have any? Ah, a pupusería. A pupusería is a place where you... Primer aven primera avenida. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, the activity, for example, a barber shop is a place where you get a haircut. A grocery store is a place where you buy food. So, what's a pupuseria? It's a place where you. It's a place where you pupusas. The, where you eat. Eat pupusas. Oh, buy pupusa, right? Very good. It's a place very where good. you buy pupusas. Thank you very much. Now, next one. Let me see. Uh, Diana, please. What's a bank? It's a place where you... Um, no sé, retirar, ¿cómo podría decirlo? Uh, you say... Oh, retirar. Uh, I remember okay. the word. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo yes. retirar dinero? <laughs> Yes, it's take take money. It's a place where you take money. But it's a place is... where you take take money. Take money, right? Okay, let me see. Withdraw. Withdraw is withdraw is the word. Ya me acordé. Eh, ¿Cuál sería entonces? ¿Cómo ahorita, sería ahorita, el uso ahorita, de la dos? Ahorita se lo digo. <laughs> withdraw money, right? Withdraw money. It's a place where you withdraw money. Repeat, Diana. Withdraw. It's, it's a place where it's you. It's a place where you withdraw, withdraw money. Okay, thank you. Thank you. El anterior que había dicho. Take. Eh, tomar, llevar dinero, pero suena como que lo va a robar. <laughs> uh, no, así no. <laughs> no, okay. It's a place where you withdraw money, right? Mm -hmm. Sí, que te di que solo de ir a tomar, solo sin permiso ahí. <ríe> ok. And the last one, please. The last one goes to... To Luis. Luis, what's a park? It's a place where you rest. Ok, yes. It's a place where you rest. It's a place where you... Take your dog rah, 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 for a walk. It's a place where you you um, get fun with your children, in my case, you know. Okay? Thank you very much, class. Now, let's continue with these exercises. Good. Here we have a conversation, right? About Jack and Mrs. Day. 
Jack and Mrs. Day. Listen to the audio, please. Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50, Exercise 2, Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? A barber shop? What do you mean? I am peludo or what? <laughs> okay, now listen again and repeat, please. Eh, no sé si escuchan todos el audio. Yes. Y me están yes. escribiendo que eh, no están escuchando el audio, pero bueno, creo que es problema de internet entonces. Con alguno de ustedes. Entonces, good. Now, listen to the conversation and repeat, please. Unit. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Excuse me. Me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Good. Again, repeat after me, please. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. I think there's one across from the shopping center. 
Thank you. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping, in, sorry, in the shopping, sorry. There is a barber shop in the shopping center. Parece un trabalengua. Excuse me. Qué oso, qué oso. Hoy sí, okay. There is a barber shop in the shopping center too. There is a barber shop in the shop. <laughs> Sorry, it, <laughs> esta oración sí me, me ha caído, de, me ha echado zancadillo. Hoy sí. <clears throat> There is a barber shop in the shopping center too. <laughs> a barber shop. Okay, class. Any question about vocabulary? Any word that you don't understand? No? Okay, we're going to listen to the audio again and we're going to practice together. Unit A. Conversation. Practice. Listen. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? A barber shop? Is like, I, I don't understand, right? Okay, very good. No questions? Now I will have some volunteers to practice this, right? Uh, let me see. Wilson, please. Help me with Claudia. Wilson, you're Jack. And Claudia, you're Mrs. Day. La señora, okay. la señora Dia. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Day. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Action. Excuse me. I am your new... A neighbor, Jack. I just move, moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on, on Pine Street. Pine? Pine, Pine? Street. Mm -hmm. La calle del Pino. Pine Street. Uh -huh. Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a uh, lounge? Uh, laundromat? Laundromat? Thank you. Laundromat near here. Like a question, Wilson. And is there a laundromat near here? And is there a laundromat near here? We, Will sería ahí. Will. Well, uh, well. Well, mm. well. well. I think there's one, there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Um, I see, um, by, by the way, way, y a todo by esto, way, y a todo esto, by the, by the way. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Good. Claudia le salió super mejor que el teacher, ¿verdad? Y, <laughs> there is a barber shop in the shopping center. <laughs> Thank you. I, I said shopping center. <laughs> no, shopping center. Sorry. Teacher se equivocó ahí. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Wilson. Okay, let's go to the next. William, please. And Diana, ¿sigue con nosotros, Diana? Sí, sí, acá estoy. Ya, ya no le falló. Qué bueno. No okay. tanto. Yeah, okay. William, you are Jack, and the genre is Mrs. Day. Action! One, two, three. Excuse me. I'm your neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, they are some, and then... Um... Pine? Pine, Street. Pine, Street. Pine, Pine Street. Oh, good. 
And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I try there one across for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, were a barber shop in the shopping center too? A barber shop? Thank you very much. Excelentoso, excelentoso. Okay, now, here we have uh, Karen, please. Karen, you're Mrs. Day, Mrs. Day. And Paola, Paola is going to be Jack, right? Ready, Paola? Okay, okay. one, two, three, action. Okay. Es excuse me, I'm your, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moving in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any, any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now I have Nuria and Beatriz, right? Beatriz, you are Jack. Jack. ¿Todavía está con nosotros, Beatriz? Yes. Excelente. Hoy sí le ha durado el internet. Qué bueno. Okay. <laughs> Beatriz, you are Jack. And Nuria, you are uh, Mrs. Day. Right? Ready for the next practice? Action. Excuse me. In your new, new neighbor, Jack, I just moved in. I'm your new. I'm your new. Beatriz. And uh, I, your new neighbor, Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any, any around here? Yes, there are some um, um, Pine? Pine Street. Oh, good. Um, is there a laundromat near the near here? Wait, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Excelentoso, right? Good. Now we have eh, Luis and Alejandro. Luis, you are Jack, and Alejandro is Mrs. Day, right? There you go, boys. Nice. Action. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm just moving. Oh, okay. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some um, pine street. Pine? Pine? Pine street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think that there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, thank you very much. Let me see. And the last one, eh, Veronica, right? ¿Quién más me hizo falta? Perdón, no, no sé si me salté alguien. Aparte de Veronica, ¿quién más me falta? Wilson, ya, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, Cindy no nos puede escuchar ahora. Ahora le ha ido mal a Cindy. Ni el micrófono ni el audio ahora. Eh, bueno, entonces le vamos a ayudar a Verónica. Yes, Verónica, I am... What do you want to be, Verónica? Jack or Mrs. Day? Um, Mrs. Day. Mrs. Day, so. This is me, Jack. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. 
Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's a cross from the shopping center. Oh, thank you. By the way, there's barbershop in the shopping center too. A barbershop? Perdón, ¿qué me quiere decir? Huh? <laughs> yeah, barbershop. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, this introduce uh, the preposition. Look. I'm looking. Are there? Yes, there are some, right? There are some on Pine Street, right? And Landromat? Across from the shopping center. Cruzando el shopping center, queda uno. Un laundromat, right? Good. Now we're going to learn about some prepositions. Yes. Listen, please. Page 51, exercise 3. Grammar focus. There is, there are. One, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Okay, class, look. The same of like we were practicing yesterday, right? There is, there are. There isn't, there are. Any question, is there? There is no. Is there? There are. Are there, right? And then you say, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Yes, there are. No, there are, right? Okay. And, but the most important part here and for tonight, esta noche, right? Aquí está la carnita, lo que más nos interesa es the prepositions. On, that means surface, the superficie, next to, a la par de, right? Near or close to, cerca de, near, close to, across from, or opposite, quiere decir, cruzando, al otro lado, you know? Opposite. In front of, too, right? So, across from, opposite, and in front, those are synonyms, synonyms. Across from, opposite, in front. The same. So, lo mismo quiere decir. In back of, or behind. Atrás. Atrás. Between is en medio de, right? Between. And finally, on the corner of. On the corner of. So, en la esquina de. In the corner of Pine Street, for example. Right? En la esquina de la calle del Pino. Pine Street. Good. Do you understand this preposition class? Do we have do you have questions about these prepositions? Por favor, necesito preguntas si no entienden, porque ahorita vamos a hacer un ejercicio con estas preposiciones. Are you ready? Ready? Good. So we're going to listen the audio again if you want, right? But no sé. Creo yo que necesitamos un último refuerzo. So listen to the audio. Page 51, exercise 3. Grammar focus. There is, there are. One, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions 
on, next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Okie dokie. Now, with this information, we're going to make an exercise, right? Good. Look at the places, class. Uh, we have shopping center, gas station, public library, electronics, post office, Joe's gym, you know, up and down, up and down, Joe's gym. Oday's department store, like Siman, Sambor, Saras. There's cut. We have department store, right? First National Bank, Princess Grocery Store, a telephone, a park, Mom and Pops, Mom and Pop, right? Grocery, grocery store, right? A Parker's Drugstore. Aquí hay una farmacia también, mire, una zapatería, Top Shoes se llama. También tenemos. Varios hoteles. Tenemos dos hoteles aquí. Tenemos. Creo que vamos a hacerlo pequeñito más. Yes. Ok, good. Uh, we have a James, Jameson Hotel en the King Plaza Hotel, right? Luego tenemos un comedorcito, una venta de pupusa ahí. <risa> Rosa Restaurant, right? También pueden comprar semita ahí. France and Café. Le like dice Luis's and Café. Alejandro's and Café. <risa> you see, so those are some places. So what you can do here is make the question. Is there a gas station in here? Is there a post office? And then you answer, yes, there is. Or no, there isn't, right? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Ahí estamos. Okay, very good. Uh, now, question and answer. Question and answer, right? Is there, is there, is there. We're going to start with Wilson. You choose a student, please, Wilson. Choose a victim. I mean, student. Wilson, escoja una víctima, eh, sorry, un estudiante, please. Um, pero no sé, alguien que empiece con Alejandro. <laughs> alguien que empiece con Alejandro. <laughs> ok, ¿Cómo? Alejandro, Alejandro, you know. Oh, ok, Marvin Alejandro, ready? So, ¿Qué Wilson. Le ¿Qué, ¿Qué le he hecho? Dice Alejandro. <laughs> no, 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 come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wilson. Is there a and then you choose a hotel, a cafe, a restaurant, a park, a telephone, a public telephone, a shopping center, etc. Et right? Um, I Is there right? Look, I will copy here. Look. Is there, for example, is there a gas station near here? Hay alguna alguna estación de de gasolina por aquí? Okay. Now, come on, Wilson, do it. No, no. You have to make a question, but don't say gas station. You can say hotel, bank. Drugstore, restaurant. Is there a post office near here? Uh -huh, Alejandro, is there a post office? Ok, Alejandro, ¿qué es lo que va a usar ahorita? Vamos a enseñar, vamos a ver. Alejandro va a decir on, next to, near, across, in front, in back, between, on the corner, right? Yes, Alejandro. Yes. Come on. 
solo que no encuentro lo que él dijo. Ah, ya, ya la vi. Eh, eh, ah, Puede usar yes. una combinación también, si quiere. Eh, on Pine Street, in front, que de enfrente, a la par, cerca, etcétera, etcétera. Right? Come on, Alejandro. Yes. Behind your jeans. There is one. There is one. Yes. Behind. Mm -hmm. yes. Behind. Okay, thank you. So, is there an electronic here? Yes. There is one behind Joey's gym, right? Okay, thank you very much, Alejandro. Now, uh, William, please choose another big, I mean, another student, please, and make the question. Okay. Is there who? Who? The person. Karen. Oh, okay. Diana. Luis. Mm. Beatriz. Beatriz. Ready, Beatriz? Todavía está con nosotros, Beatriz. Beatriz. Hi. Hi. Okay. Listen, listen to the question. Entiendo, ya. ya le vamos a explicar, tranquilita, ya le vamos a explicar. Yes. Uh, Ajá, the question, William. Is there a grocery, grocery store? Ok, is there a there grocery here? store? Good. Ahora Beatriz, primero búsqueme la grocery store en el mapa. Busque algo que diga grocery store. Está por la segunda, aven segunda avenida. Ajá, entonces eso dígale a, a William. There is, uh, there is one, dígale, there is one. There is one. On. On. Second aven Very avenida. Very good. También yeah. otra, ref otra referencia, Beatriz. There is one um, next to the drugstore. Mire, a la par de la drugstore, ¿ve? Uh -huh. O también otra referencia puede ser en la esquina de la segunda y la Pine Street. Mire, there is one on the corner of Second Avenue and Pine Street. Hay varias referencias ahí. O también cruzando el parque. Mire, there is one across from the park. Ok. Yes. Ok, thank you. Thank right. you very much. Now, eh, Paola, please. Paola. Okay. You make a question, please. Agárreme una víctima. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, un estudiante, sorry. <laughs> you make the question. Luis. Luis. Okay, Luis, ready? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> no lo Is sé, there... algo, algo personal, algo personal. No, no. Is there a public library? Library? New here. Library. 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 Ajá. New here. Ajá, Luis. Yes. There is a. Uh, there is one. There is one next to gas station. Next to the gas station, right? Yes. O oh, you can also say there is one on Main Street. Mire, está en la calle principal, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Eh, the last one, please. Vámonos a los, al último. A ver, aquí. Um, Nuria, please. Pregúnteme a alguien por ahí, Nuria. Um, Verónica. Um, <laughs> is there if um Hamison hotel? A, a hotel. Hot, a hotel. Is there a hotel near here? Is Nuria? there a hotel near here? 
near here. Good. ¿Quién me dijo que era la víctima, Nuria? Verónica. <laughs> ah, Verónica, Verónica, yes. Verónica, you have two options. You can say the description of the James Ho Jameson Hotel o de Kim Plaza. Ahí usted escoja cualquiera de los dos. Yes, there is the one across another another. Across? Across Frank Coffee? Uh Frank's Coffee, yes. Yes. Okay, and, good. Uh, uh, Rose Restaurant. Uh -huh. And also you can say, look, ¿cómo se llama la calle? Se llama la calle Elm. There is one on Elm Street. Queda uno en la calle de Elm, you know? On Elm Street, mire. Aquí está la entrada del hotel y aquí está la otra. Elm Street. Elm Street. It's, it's next to Frank's Cafe or is across from Frank's Cafe on Elm Street, right? Very good, class. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Vamos ahora a otro ejercicio. Yes. Está un poco complicadito este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Pero solo es de aprendernos las preposiciones. Si quiere, escuchémoslo una vez más. Permita. Page 51, exercise 3. Grammar focus. Across from. Opposite. To. Near, close to, across from. There's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Okay, very good. Now the preposition. Listen, please. Prepositions. On. Next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. Okay, you see, those are the preposition, right? Sobre, a la par de, cerca de. Cruzando el otro lugar, you know, across from, opposite, or in front, right? In back of, atrás, behind, between, en medio, no, no vimos ningún ejemplo con between, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a ver alguno. Y on the corner of, por ejemplo, ¿dónde está el hotel? El hotel King Plaza. Is on the corner of Maples Avenue and Elm Street. Está en la esquina de la avenida del Maple y la calle Elm, right? Esa no lo usamos, ¿verdad? O podemos decir también aquí, eh, the post office is between the gas station and Joe's gym, right? Between. Ahí está en medio, right? Here also, look, what is the, what is the, the Parker's drugstore? Is, so it says, it's between the grocery store and the, the shoe store. Between, right? Those are the preposition. Now, <clears throat> we're going to listen and notice how there is and there are are reduced in conversation. Cuando estamos hablando, ¿cómo se reducen? Listen, please. Page 52, exercise 4, pronunciation. Reduction of there is, there are. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how there is and there are are reduced in conversation, except for short answers. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some on Pine Street. Okay, there are. There are some, you know. So in this case, there is and there are are reduced in conversation. So you say there's. Normalmente cuando usamos una conversación, el there is, eh, no se dice there is, se dice there's. Yeah. 
y there are, sí, there are, there are, there are. No uh -huh. es como there are, sino que es un, como un ido. There are, there are, there are. Ok, very good. Now we're going to go to a listening exercise. Vamos a ir a un ejercicio de, de escuchar y ahí terminamos la clase. Right. Listen, please. Listen to hotel guests and ask about places to visit. Complete the chart. Hay unos eh, clientes en el hotel, pues que quieren ir a visitar. Vienen en otro país, quieren ir a visitar, ¿verdad? Ahorita, como que nuestro país está en el, en el auge del turismo, ¿verdad? Que un montón de turistas que están viniendo a nuestro país. Entonces, vamos a ver si, si este ejercicio nos sirve un poco para eso, ¿sí? Places to visit. Hay algunos lugares que visitar. Look, three places. Number one. Hard Rock Café, el café Hard Rock. The Science Museum, museo, right? And an aquarium. So what are you going to do? You're going to tell me the location. Me van a decir la, la ubicación usando todas pre, las preposiciones que vimos. Next to, in, on, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Y luego me vamos a decir, ¿es interesante, bonito lugar? Yes or no, right? Listen. Page 52. Exercise 6. Listening. What are you looking for? Part A. Listen to hotel guests ask about places to visit. Complete the chart. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. We need some directions. Sure. What are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. How far is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here, right across from the National Bank. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall, okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, then maybe we won't go there. Hmm. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park, next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good day. Es algo difícil, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir lentamente. Don't worry. Page 52. Yes. We need to complete the chart. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. We need some directions. Sure. What are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. Ah, the Hard Rock Cafe. Listen. How far is it from here? How far is? ¿Qué tan lejos queda? How far? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here. ¿Unos cuantos minutos? A few minutes. Right across from the National Bank. Ajá, uh -huh. right across from? Listen. Oh, it's just a few minutes from here. Right across from the National Bank. Right across from? The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the science museum? Okay, good. So what is the location of the Hard Rock Cafe? Help me, please, class. Right across from the National Bank. And then she said, oh, where? It's right Right across, right across from the National Bank. From the National Bank. Bang, 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 okay? Is right across from the National Bank. Escuchemos otra vez. Or is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here. Right across from the National Bank. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe... Okay, that's it, right? Now, 
Is the Hard Rock an interesting place, yes or no? A nice place. Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And... Cuando... Eh, yes, so is interesting or no? What do you think? Yes. Yes. Okie dokie. Yes. Okay, good. Now let's go to the Science Museum. Listen, please. Oopsie. Give me a second here. Give me for you. I will give you. Where's the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Uh huh. Where is the science? Cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Where is the Science Museum? Listen. Well, that's near City Hall. Near? Good, and there are some interesting City. things to look City. at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall. Okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Okay, good. So where is the Science Museum? It's near City Hall. It's near. Está cerca de, right? The City mm -hmm. Hall, de la alcaldía. City Hall. Okay, now let's check it out if it's interesting or not. Listen. Yes. Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, then maybe we won't go there. Hmm. One last... Okay, good. So, is it interesting? Yes or no? No. No, right? It's not just for young kids, solo para cipotillo. Young kids. <laughs> Solo para cipotillo, right? Now, listen to the aquarium, right? Aquarium. Next question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, okay, good, no. the then aquarium. maybe we won't go there. Mm. The aquarium, the aquarium. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park next to the train station. Oh, mm -hmm. next to the train station. So where is the aquarium? What is the aquarium class? It's from five blocks next to the train station. Next to the train station. Okay. It's next to the train station. Is it interesting or not? It's very nice. It's very nice, right? Como los muchos que tenemos aquí. Okay, so yes. Nice class. What time is it? Ooh, 10 o'clock, exactly, right? Vamos a pasar lista, pero nos vamos a quedar 10 minutos. Eh, Beatriz, con usted no me quedo ni una vez, ¿verdad? No, dije. Puede, puede esta noche, quedarse 10 minutos. Vaya. Le, que, le alcanza el internet, yes. Sí, sí. Ok, good, good. Bueno, vamos a quedar 10 minutos, oiga. Ok, voy a pasar lista. Eh, Alejandra me pareció ver a Alejandra no, ¿verdad? no, y no estuvo con nosotros, ya me acordé Cindy, sí, ¿verdad? pero siempre el micrófono ok, Claudia present ok, see you tomorrow bye bye Diana 
Present. Bye bye. And bye bye. Eh, Grecia. No. Ok. Karen. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Car bless you too. You too. Ok. Thank you. Carla, solo de oyente, ¿verdad? Eh, Beatriz. Beatriz. Present. No, Present. Se me vaya a ir. no se me vaya a ir, no. por favor. <ríe> wait, wait, wait. Ok, thank you. Now, Lucía, si bien permita. Y luego sigue Luis. Hello, Luis. Present. See you tomorrow. See you. God bless you. God bless you. Verónica. Present. Ok, God bless you. Bye See bye. you tomorrow. Bye bye. Nuria. Present. Eh, Marvin Alejandro Ok, thank you Marvin See you tomorrow eh, Nuria Nuria Yes, yeah, right Ok, Paola Present teacher Thank Good you night. Good night William I'm here teacher Very Good night good. See, see you tomorrow Good night And Wilson Present. Bye, Wilson. Take care. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. Marvin Alejandro. Okay, good. Cindy. Okay, very good. Now, Beatriz. Hello, Beatriz. <laughs> ¿Cómo estamos, Beatriz? ¿Hay algún Muy tema? Cansadita. <laughs> Cansadita. ¿Y hasta qué horas trabaja, Beatriz? Hasta las cinco. Uh, luego el, tra el tráfico y luego la clase. Bueno, pero qué bien que esté haciendo el esfuerzo, Beatriz. Ya va a ver que esto, <ríe> la vida lo va a recompensar. ¿Ok? Ay. Muy bien. Este, ¿Hay algún tema en especial que le cueste, Beatriz? ¿Algo que quisiera que le explicáramos en estos siete minutos que eh... nos quedan? Fue cuando mencionó lo de... Ay, pero me estoy buscando. Lo... Pero es de la unidad 1, teacher. Ah, de la unidad 1. <risa> eh, ¿Se acuerda si es lo de los artículos? A, an, el eh, alfabeto. De decía el I pasado por el my, you, your... She, ah, los she, posesivos, she, los posesivos. Her, it, it, we, yeah. or, they, their. Very good. Ahí los tiene bien anotaditos, ¿verdad? Muy bien, estos son los posesivos. The possessive one, right? Uh -huh. Los posesivos. Vaya. Hay varios tipos de posesivos. Pero eh, el que se refiere a este, ¿cómo se llama? A los possessive adjectives eh, van de esta forma. Mire, my. Ah, permítame, aquí me falta poner possessive adjective. Possessive adjectives. Y personal pronoun. Los vamos a comparar con los pronombres personales. Personal pronoun. Ok. My equivale uh -huh. al pronombre I, yo, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. digo, este es el más usado, ¿verdad? I live in San Salvador. Aquí estamos usando el, pro, el pronombre, ¿verdad? Pero si usamos el posesivo uh -huh. es my city y San Salvador. My city. Y vea, Beatriz, esto es bien importante, que a la par, recuerda que dijimos ahora que los adjetivos llevan un nombre a la par, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Un nombre. Sí, en este caso la ciudad es un nombre. Ah. Un nombre ah. común, ajá. My city, mi ciudad. Entonces, el posesivo debe dar siempre un nombre a la par, ¿sí? Ah. Vaya. Y con referencia al your. Equivale más o menos a decir you. Pero le ponemos otro nombre. Mire, your. Pencil. 
tu apellido, tu apellido, tu, tu lápiz, right? Tu lápiz, your pencil. His car. Para él, como tercera persona. Her house. Ok. En este caso sería she. She. Ok. Para we sería our. Our class. Nuestra clase en inglés. Right. We. Y por último, they. Their. Their bow. Su pelota de ellos. ¿Verdad? Ah, sorry. They. Muy bien. Entonces, si se fija, my, your, his, her, our, y their, indican posesión, posesión. Y estos van en equivalente a los pronombres personales. ¿Sí? Pero debe tomar en cuenta dos cosas. Número uno, que... Primero va el adjetivo, siempre, ¿verdad? Esa es la regla que, que aprendimos ahora. Luego va el nombre. Quiere decir que los adjetivos van precediendo al nombre, ¿sí? My city, your pencil, his car, her house, or class, their ball. ¿Ok? I can make you a question. Say, uh, Beatriz, Beatriz, what? Eh, ¿Tiene una computadora en su casa, Beatriz? No. Oh, bueno, ¿tiene, <risa> ¿tiene un celular? Sí, 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 ok. So we say her cell phone. El número, el celular, perdón, de Beatriz. Her cell phone. You see? Her cell phone. Ok, esa es, esa es la de descripción de los posesidades. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta sobre esto, Beatriz? Solo corroborando, entonces primero va el nombre que usted me dijo y después seguido va un adjetivo. No, primero el adjetivo y después el nombre. En primero este el caso. Adjetivo. Ah, ok, no. perdón. En este <risa> caso, el adjetivo indica posesión. Si se fijan los adjetivos que vimos ahora en la clase, indican eh, descripción, por ejemplo, grande, pequeño, bonito, azul, verde. Ajá, pero en el caso de estos adjetivos, indican que el dueño, el poseedor de la ciudad es, soy yo. Que el dueño del lápiz es, eres Ajá. tú. Que el dueño del carro es él. El dueño de la casa es ella. Y que nosotros somos los dueños de esta clase, ¿verdad? Oh, ok. Ok. Muy bien. Sí. Eh, Beatriz, le recomiendo que vea una película en inglés semanal. Y además que cante una canción en inglés, semanal. Si usted se pone la, la disciplina, Beatriz, de escuchar esa canción y de ver una película en inglés, pero de muñequitos. Oiga, Beatriz, de muñequitos. Oiga. Si no puede, entre, si no puede entre semana, el fin de semana. Oiga. Ok. Good. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta extra? Que rápido, no fueron 10 no, minutos ya. <ríe> Solo okay. eso. <risas> Rápido no fue el tiempo, miren. Bueno, Beatriz, it's a pleasure. Me alegro muchísimo que le haya durado el internet. Y pues no voy a faltar mañana. Gracias pero, por la clase. Pero, pero especialmente, Beatriz, el viernes. El viernes no me voy a fallar, ¿sí? ¿Le han gustado sí, las sí, clases? Sí, un gusto, Ticha. ¿Le han gustado las clases, Beatriz? Sí, bastante. Ah, bueno, menos mal. Bastante. <risas> hoy, hoy me he estado durmiendo, ya. Ya. <risas> Pero ni modo, ¿verdad? Sí, me imagino que usted también un poco cansadita. Pero ya, vamos a dormir ya. Oiga, feliz noche, have a good night, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye.